Hello, this is Laura Chappell. In this network analysis overview course, I'm going to begin by giving you a definition of network analysis, but I also want to provide you with information about the skill set that you need to have in order to be a very good network analyst. We have four sections that follow that where I'm going to go into some of the key tasks for network analysis. I'll be opening up some trace files to show you various troubleshooting tasks in Wireshark. I'll be looking at some security tasks. We will, we will open up a trace file and find some very unusual traffic. Then we'll look at some optimization tasks in Wireshark. We'll be taking a look at all the different servers that are responding to TCP handshakes and we'll be able to find the servers that are not configured in an optimal manner. Then we'll go to application analysis. Again, I'll be opening up a trace file and we'll be able to go in and look and easily see where we have application errors inside of a trace file. I'll talk with you a little bit about the legal issues of listening to network traffic. And really, this depends on where you reside as to what legal issues you have to be careful of. I will then be providing you with the list of tips that will help you find the needle in the haystack. So the needle in the haystack is a situation that we have when we have a huge trace file, but there's a problem somewhere inside of that huge trace file. How can we go and spot the problem very quickly? We'll then look at a checklist of analysis tasks, and I'll go through that checklist and what you can learn from each of the items listed. And then we have a section focusing on understanding traffic flows. In this last section, I'll be showing you how traffic flows through a switch, how traffic flows through a router, and how traffic flows through a firewall that is also acting as a network address translation box. When we get to this last section, I'll be opening up trace files from each side of a switch and then opening up trace files from each side of a router, and then opening up trace files from each side of a firewall and NATing device. Actually, I'll be showing you a PAT device, Port Address Translation. And I'll show you how each one of these devices affects the network traffic. So this is a solid foundation course. You should definitely make it through this entire course and complete the quiz at the end and then take the challenge to make sure that you're ready to move on with all the other courses that we have in this core training set.